Hello, hello. Hi, this is Chuck. I'm in Da Nang. Um, I've been uh, thinking about doing this video for a while. It's my budget. And I know a lot of people like to see this information. This is current as of, when are we? End of January, 2023, 27th, actually. Um, and so uh, I will uh, talk my way through this. And, and then I'm going to post it. I have a you know, something that I just ginned up, first of all, it's, uh, you know, pencil and paper, and then I put it into Notepad, and then I moved it over to Microsoft Paint, and then turned it into a, an image, and then merged those together. And so here's my monthly budget for 2023, early 2023. So the first thing I want to talk about is savings. And if you're, you've been following my channel for a while, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, go back to my video about whether or not greed is evil. That was kind of a fun video to do. And the thumbnail was just some nonsense that I ginned up to see if I would gain more traction. <laughs> um, anyway, so savings at $240 off the top every month on payday. No questions asked. And that comes from, you know, an old belief to pay yourself first, right? Pay yourself first. That's a, a Mormon friend of mine in Salt Lake used to tell me that. Pay yourself first. My rent is uh, 7 million VMD a month, which is $294. My electricity is $45, and that varies a little bit. Like if you're gone for six days out of your month, it's going to be less, you know. Pretty conservative in terms of, I don't leave any lights on that are not needed. Um, although I have my fan going. But having a fan going to suck some fresh air in is better than running air conditioning, that's for sure. My motor rental, motorbike rental is 1.2 million VND, that's about 50 bucks. Gas over a month. So I fill my motorbike up uh, probably twice a week and it's always 50,000 dong, which is about, that's about two bucks each. So twice a week, that's four bucks times a month, that's $16 a month. Meds, um, I'm discovering this is kind of a ballpark because I made the mistake of buying Lipitor instead of buying the generic, whatever Lipitor is, and I paid way too much money for it. So that sort of screwed me a little bit. Um, there is a generic here of what Lipitor is, and it's like a tenth the cost or a hundredth the cost, maybe. I don't know. It's like way cheap. Um, so I'm putting $30 a month for meds. And that's it. So rent, electricity, moto, gas for moto, and meds is $435 a month. Um, and then food. Um, you know, I went vegan in July, so I'm not eating any meat at all. And so my food's kind of cheap. It's really... And if I go find a Western meal, vegan meal, Western... And, and uh, I have some wonderful friends here who are uh, like Kevin who owns ad adoba, adoba, it's a Mexican joint, and he makes burritos for me that have no oil, no salt. He sautés in water for me, um, and that's really nice, and, and uh, high props to Kevin for doing that. And his crew is great. God, his crew knows me, and they, they're great. So adoba and on, on Tum Tu, wonderful restaurant run by great people. Just, you know, high five to Kevin and his crew. Um, so, okay, so a Western meal is going to be $6, you know, stuffing yourself. And I also, I'm eating alone. I'm not, Zwani's not in the picture anymore, which is unfortunate. Um, but she's, she's just not. And, and uh, so I'm eating alone. So these are my prices. Uh, Western meal is $6. A Vietnamese meal, kind of, you know, a bowl of noodles. So I will... Uh, Chai Cha On downtown, my vegan place, where I go get Mi Quang and braised tofu and either tamarind sauce or tomato sauce. That's, you know, 65,000 dong, which is $3 for a huge, beautiful meal. Those are two examples. Um, I mean, I get a burrito from Kevin for 130, 130 thou. That's about five bucks.
So I'm going to put eating out as $200 and I do buy groceries. Uh, you know, and I, I went and made a grocery run the other day and I bought a whole bunch of fruit and veggies and tomatoes and stuff for making sandwiches, cucumbers and tomatoes for making sandwiches and mustard. And, and so I'm going to put $200 for groceries. So 400 for food a month. Uh, how accurate is that? God, who knows? Probably pretty close. Probably pretty close. And then um, this is the thing I hate doing and spending money on. And uh, and it, in fact, may, might cause me to move. I don't know. Not yet. I don't know yet. But the visa and the border run. So we have to do this nonsensical monthly border run and do a nonsensical e-visa every month. So we have to do the e-visa and that's 25 bucks. And then Lynn has gone from being a visa person to being a border run person. And, and you know, we do the visa for Vietnam and she does the visa for Laos. So we jump in her bus and we drive to, to Lao Bao and we walk across, we walk down to the big Vietnamese building and we check out of Vietnam. We walk across the border, check into Laos, turn around, check out of Laos, walk back across, check back into Visa, go have lunch, jump on the bus and come back. It's an utter pain in the ass. Every month we have to do it. And But I also want, just want to say that um, Lynn makes it really easy. You know, I mean, she doesn't have anything to do with whether or not it's going to continue. Although I, I wish she would lobby to make it easier, go back to 90 day border runs and longer visas. But I don't know if it's in her best interest. I don't know if it's in her financial best interest to do that. I think she's making bank on these border runs. Although I don't know, that's just speculation, but we can speculate all we want, right? Anyway, her crew is great. She's great totally organized, completely, utterly organized. On the 18th before Tet, she had seven buses of people and it went off without a hitch. So, I mean, it's just like amazing, just fun to watch. It's like a Swiss watch, you know, clicking along like a Swiss watch. So uh, high props to, Qu to Lynn for pulling that off. I just hope, you know, she becomes more of a visa agent than a bus a bus organizer. Okay, so uh, visa run and border uh, border run and visa is 118 a month. So coffee shops are uh, I'm spending very little in coffee shops, ten dollars a month maybe. Um, I'm buying beans from Starbucks, uh, thirty dollars a month for French roast and espresso blend, and they grind them there, and I have a cone and I buy number four filters and make it here. Um, massage and barber shops, that's probably still at $100 a month. ATM costs, so I when I went home after July of 2021, I went to DC and spent 10 weeks and I got a bunch of things done. And one of the things I did was I opened a Schwab account and Schwab kicks back all my ATM charges here. So that's nice. It just shows up at the end of the month, you know, uh, 40 bucks, sometimes 66 bucks, sometimes. I mean, it's just uh, that's really helpful. So if you have the ability to go home and get a Schwab account and come back, then uh, and I think they want you to be stateside. I have a stateside address in D.C. So alcohol and tobacco is zero because I don't drink or smoke. So my all my miscellaneous stuff. $240 and and so there's a total of $1433 with no booze or tobacco and that includes my savings of 240 anyway so uh yeah it's doable you know I'm living on social security here and this is completely doable and I have fun I could you know make a lot of adjustments in here if I really wanted to I don't feel poor and I don't feel threadbare. You know, I can go buy clothes if I want. Clothes are fun. That would go under miscellaneous. I mean, I bought a Nike shell 
that was 350,000 dong, which is about, let's see, 100,000 is four bucks. So three, that would be 12, and 50 is another two. So, you know, 14 bucks for a Nike shell. Anyway, I'm just rambling. Um, I will post this. I, I turned this spreadsheet thingy that I made into a photo so I can post it and I'll uh, tag it onto the, the rear end of this so you can see it and, and um, you can stop and take a look at it. I would love to hear other people's information about how much they're spending here. If you're in Da Nang and you're spending money, rents. I mean, I'm at the southern end edge of Antung and I have a beautiful apartment. I mean, it's one bedroom and and uh, it's big and it's three, you know, $294 a month, 7 million dong. And it's in a building with an elevator and a swimming pool. So that's, you know, that's uh, wonderful. And my landlady is amazing. I love her. And it's, uh, it's a service department too. So they come in, mop and change my sheets every week and, and clean my bathroom. So that's nice, you know, good deal, great deal. So other than border runs and the visa stuff, Da Nang's really wonderful. Okay, love you guys. See ya. Like I said, oh, subscribe, please. Please, 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 please subscribe. And go to Visa, uh, Visa. go to YouTube and search on Chuck Minty, please. Search on Chuck Minty in YouTube. And because it really helps my algorithm. Really, really, really helps my algorithm. Okay, thanks. See ya. Bye-bye.